Christmas at the Gallery. This is Go. The decorations here at the Comox Valley Art Gallery are absolutely unique and colorful and would make wonderful Christmas presents or if you're still decorating your house, they would be the perfect choice. And you can still come here until December 24th in the afternoon and pick something up. They're actually here until the 26th, but if you want it for Christmas, you have until the 24th. It is amazing. Over 50 local artists, their work are here and represented and you can walk out the door with it for a price, but it's a wonderful cause. So as you prepare for your final week of preparation before the holidays, we are gonna start today's show with a story about the food bank because the Comox Valley Food Bank is still struggling. They are not getting enough donations. They are not having enough to support the people that are in need. So please think about that as you're getting ready and have a look at this. Welcome back, you're watching Go. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. You are watching Shaw TV's channel four. Joining me now is Sharon Karsten here at the Comox Valley Art Gallery. Sharon, this show is absolutely spectacular. Thanks, it's such a pleasure to bring this together. Um, we have a team of fantastic people who work with us throughout the month of November to pull this all off. And this is our Christmas craft fair. This is a, the 42nd year that it's happened, so it's long wow. standing in this community and it's deep rooted. So it's amazing to see people come out of the woodwork to help us pull it together. And all the artists are fantastic to have, have drop by and show us their stuff. I'm looking around and I see at least a dozen things that I would like to leave with. <laughs> My husband would shoot me. I know, but... <laughs> imagine me working here every day. It's, yeah, it's a challenge. It is a challenge. So, and this is on until the 26th of December, right? That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what's your favorite thing about this particular show? My favorite thing is that it focuses on the local. And okay. so people, um, people express their own stories through the art that they bring here. Okay. And it's fantastic to look at the detail and to see um, stories emerge about this place and this community that are real and that are, and that are powerful. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned uh, the people that pull this together. What did you mean by that? So there's over 50 artists whose work is represented wow. here. Uh, in addition to that, we have our ongoing list of artists in the gift shop, uh, about 50 of those as well. So it's a huge number. This, this community has a wealth of artistic talent and it's incredible when you're able to bring it all together into one room uh, to, see, to see what happens. Now, um, so this being a craft fair, so people can actually come in and buy the yeah. ornaments that are around and the gifts that they see. And, yeah. Wow. Fantastic. So this is a fundraiser, but it's also okay. giving back to, it's, it's contributing economic investment in the local arts community. Okay. So artists receive a commission on the work that is, that's sold here. Okay. And uh, in past years, it's been over $30,000 that's gone wow. into the local community as a result of this fair. So it's fantastic. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. So when we come back, I understand mm -hmm. that you're going to introduce us to one of the volunteers yep. that has been helping with yes. this. All right, so we'll be back with Sharon shortly. Right now, we're going to head up to Campbell River and the Council Currents. Have a look. You're watching Go on Shaw TV's Channel 4. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. With me, the Executive Director of the Comox Valley Art Gary, Sharon Karsten, and a very special guest that she's going to introduce. Hi, so this is um, one of my favorite times of year because I get to see Evelyn, who comes <laughs> in almost every, has, has come in every year now for a little while and has helped us out with putting this craft fair together. So this is Evelyn Hiscock and it's such a pleasure to have her hanging out here with us. Now, Evelyn, how many years have you been volunteering? I've actually been volunteering at this location for six years um, at Christmas time, but I have been connected with um, the Comox Valley Art Gallery when it was first the Arts Alliance in 1974 oh, <laughs> 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 on McPhee. Uh, <laughs> so I've seen lovely. the changes over the years, but I, I love coming here. And what's your favorite part about volunteering for this particular installation? Um, 
I just enjoy surrounding myself with all the crafts and artwork and um, without the volunteers of course it would be hard to pull off something like this is a lot of work to get it up and running initially so I come in and help with the pricing and the displays and uh, then I come in and help with the sales and keeping the tables uh, replenished and uh, without that without the volunteers it just wouldn't happen. Now, how have you found the general public as they come in? Are they a little bit taken aback by the selection and the talent? Um, I think people um, are just really um, joyous to be able to also surround themselves with the beauty that's in here and with the selection and um, as a volunteer I get to help them find something if they need it or take something down off the wall. And I think people are always, um, very pleased to be able to to buy local or or things from the vicinity that they, they really enjoy that to be able to support local artists right. and craftspeople in the vicinity all right well thank you very much for sharing that with us today we really appreciate your time and thank you for the volunteering because i thank can you. see how yes. much work this is <laughs> mm -hmm. and after christmas and we, we get to take it all, all down <laughs> Love. Yes, okay. but it's worth it for, yeah. the, for mm -hmm. the community. It's a great resource mm -hmm. for the community and for people to have access to these things all in one yeah. spot. Excellent. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, you so and you can come and visit up until December 26th. Right now, we're going to have a look at this feature on a hybrid house. You're watching Go on Shaw TV's Channel 4. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. We are in the window of the Comox Valley Art Gallery. And I love it because all these bars are putting really weird shadows on our faces and making it look so artsy. <laughs> Joining me is Jessie Zelko, and she is one of the interns. Did you know they have an intern program here at the Comox Valley Art Gallery? So cool. What are you enjoying the most so far? Oh, thank you so much. I'm learning here. Um, getting to do this window space is something I never thought I would even be able to do. So that's been really enjoyable, but and also the digital stuff. So we're looking at doing e-publications. So getting to learn all these things while at a workplace has been really cool. Awesome. Now, what I like about this display, first of all, it's white and gold, two of my favorite colors. But you say it's touchable. What do you mean by that? Well, we wanted something so that uh, the kids could touch the art and be like a science world, this whole new experience, taking art out of the original context. So they're allowed to pick up the objects, move them around, and oh, they are now the designers okay. of their space. We're Got really it. asking what is art? Is it the precious thing or what your interactions with it? Cool. Mm -hmm. So the kids can come in and pick up these, look at these funky glasses. Those are awesome. So they can pick these up. Oh yeah. Right, mm -hmm. put them on. Mm -hmm. And then move them, say, to the shelf here behind you. Yeah. And maybe hang, maybe hang them from the boot. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and we also have other stations too, where they can actually make some sculptural objects out of the okay. gold plastics and other materials that we have too. And then they get to bring those into this space. Okay. Now, how long is your internship? This internship um, started in the fall this year, and it'll run until spring, okay. partway through spring. And what do you think that you're going to take away from this experience? Oh, so much. I learned way more than I thought I could even learn. It's how, like, how galleries run. I've learned how to use digital programs. I've now had experience having like, a show in a gallery space. It's just mind blowing. <laughs> right. Way more than I can think of. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Jesse, thank you so much for sharing your experience with us. Really appreciate that. And now we are going to head over to Powell River. Have a look. You've been watching Go on Shaw TV's Channel 4. I'm Mary Ruth Harris. Thank you to Sharon Carson, the Executive Director of the Comox Valley Art Gallery, for joining us earlier in the show and sharing with us her thoughts on this special show. Over 50 local artists are here, represented here for their annual craft show and sale leading up to Christmas. If you haven't been by, put it on your list of things to do. It is magnificent. And the intern, how cool is that? Thanks to Jesse for telling us about that. And thank you to Evelyn for sharing about the volunteering. 
If you would like to volunteer, they're always looking for more, and they're not the only ones. We at Shaw are also looking for volunteers. Now, leading up to Christmas, there are a couple campaigns that are going on, and both of them are still struggling. The Comox Valley Food Bank really needs your help, and so does the Salvation Army here in the Comox Valley. The Kettle Campaign is on right now, and I realize that not everybody carries cash. In fact, very few Canadians carry cash, but there are additional ways that you can donate. You can pop into any of their stores. You can actually donate right at the till, or you can go online to the address you see on the screen, and you can go to fill the kettle now. And you can just make your online donation as well using your credit card or PayPal. So please dig deep for both of those organizations because they are helping the many families in the Comox Valley that are struggling. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful holiday, and we will see you soon.